Hey, welcome back to the channel. I just created an entire course using Deep Research Tool by OpenAI and Claude that is so good, I could probably charge $100 for it. But those who know me, I don't like charging for courses. So instead, I turned that into an email course, which is now being used as a lead magnet for my startup in a brand new newsletter. And I was able to grow it to about 2000 subscribers in just a day or so. So in this video, I'm gonna spill out my exact playbook. So you can use it to either build a course or as a lead magnet to grow your business or your startup. Let's dive in. So my first step was to you know, do the research for the course. So I already knew the topic I wanted to use for this course. Uh, if you don't know that, just look for the questions people are asking in your community, you know, use tools like Gummy Search and Reddit to see what are the popular pains for your audience. So you have some ideas on what topics you can create the course on. So I wanted to create a course on the topic of prompt engineering, just because it would make a really good lead magnet from a prompt engineering tool, which is called Prompt Genie. So I just went to OpenAI and I used a simple prompt, like a super detailed prompt engineering course from beginners to experts. What are different techniques, the theory with examples, and the audience is not technical. How do you write prompts for different chat GPT models and also for different LLMs like Claude or Gemini or open source models? That was my initial prompt uh, with the deep research tool within chat GPT. It asked me a few things to clarify, which was about, you know, the structure of the course, you know, the type the things they should include in the course and the sections, you know, if I want to include an ethical consideration section in the course or not, and then just where the course should focus and then what sort of modules for advanced prompting I would want to include or not include in the course. So I responded with answers to those questions and it took about eight minutes and went through 31 sources and it gave me this entire output for the course content that I could, you know, repurpose or, or just use it as is. So my next step was like, okay, so I have all this research data. I went through it like quickly. I looked at the resources, it's pulling information from like, you know, OpenAI, it's pulling information from like, you know, Google Cloud. It's like, it looks like a lot of credible sources where the information is being pulled from. And I had like a spot track, I looked at like, you know, a couple sections and just looked at like certain topics. It all made sense. So I was like, all right, let's see what we can do with this. So my next step was to turn this into an email course. I mean, you know, you can leverage tools like gamma.app and turn this into like, you know, just like a PDF, an ebook or a PDF course as it is. But I didn't want to sell it. I didn't want a digital product per se. I wanted to have a lead magnet as an email course where people can go through like each chapter over like a few weeks. So it just makes it easier for them to learn. It's more bite-sized content. I could have used ChatGPT for the next step too, but I like a lot for a lot of the writing tasks. So that's so what I decided to use for that. And then before I was gonna turn this into like the whole email course, I wanted a good prompt. I wanted to like happen like right away. I didn't wanna like go back and forth with Claude or ChatGPT to make that happen. So of course I was gonna use Prompt Genie, which is the tool I was talking about earlier. So this is a tool we built to basically like, you know, write some really good prompts in like seconds. So in Prompt Genie, this is my prompt library as I'm scrolling through here. But basically what I did was I asked Prompt Genie that I need a prompt for turning research into bite-sized two-week email course. That's what I asked Prompt Genie, and I used the AI Amplifier model. Just the way AI Amplifier model works for Prompt Genie, like the, the output format is like a lot structured and tells you what to do and what not to do, and it's pretty good for like, for Claude. So then I went into Claude, and I used the exact same prompt, and then just pasted all the research I got from from ChatGPT. I was honestly worried that like, this is just so much context. Like look at how far we can scroll down this research that um, that ChatGPT did for us. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work or I have to like do this in chunks. So, I mean, it worked for me, but if you run into issues where like, it's gonna use a lot of your limit for Claude, I would say like maybe break it down into different sections of your course and just do it bit by bit. So I used my prompt. So I just copy pasted exact same prompt I got from Prompt Genie and then it did its thing. And I got like a whole bunch of these lessons from Claude. And I read through like a couple of lessons. They look really good, but things were missing. I was like, this isn't the course I would pay hundred dollars for. Something is missing. One thing was that it wasn't in the right format I wanted for like my email course output. So first thing I told Claude was that, uh, now can you turn each of them into AI newsletter style content? Here's an example of the format I like. So basically took an example of one of my newsletters and I pasted it here. I mean, this is like something I used using the Claude writing style. So I included the example of what format I want every chapter to be and ask it to read write the whole chapters. So now Claude went and wrote the whole chapters in a better format. Now it looks a lot more easier to read. We have, you know, the introduction section. We have like a bit of a spotlight. Try this today. There's a pro tip. Again, based on everything I wanted in, in that email bite-sized course based on my prompt. But uh, now I was like, okay, it's, it's getting better, but it's still not there yet. So instead of like me trying to like figure out what's sort of like missing. So I just asked Claude to maybe give me some feedback. So I wanted to see like, you know, from a perspective from my audience, if this course is going to be good enough. 
Like I don't want, even if I'm putting a lead magnet, which is free, I want it to be really good. I don't want my audience to get any piece of content from me and they're like, ah, oh, this is kind of like mid. I want it to be top notch. And since it's created completely using AI, it has to be even better. So what I did was I asked Claude here, okay, perfect, whatever thing you wrote looks good. Now, if you're a marketer or a business owner who just started learning AI recently, you have used some AI tools and you use ChatGPT Claude on a daily basis. Imagine you took this course, what would be your feedback? So now I wanted AI to sort of like simulate like the course and see how it would feel based on my audience persona here. This is a persona I'm creating this course for. So I wanted to kind of get a feedback of how they would think about this course, what would be the gaps they would see, what information they would think is too redundant and what information they think is missing. Maybe you can add to this prompt here. You can be like, what were your learning takeaways and see if it aligns with the goal that you have in mind with the course in place. So now it gave me all this feedback and the feedback was kind of like about the structure. So I was like, so is there any feedback about the quality of the course itself? And now it gave me a bit more feedback. With these models, you kind of have to probe it bit by bit. That is why the initial prompt through prompt journey works really well because it does address all those things automatically. Now, when once I had the feedback, I was like, okay, based on this feedback, can you improve the whole course in terms of examples we use for both business and personal use case? And this is where I got my final result. If you open up um, this Claude interface now, which is where I'm getting all my course material, I'm getting everything I wanted. Now this every single chapter, it's filled with incredibly useful information. There's examples, there's steps, there are exercises. And this is something I feel like I'm super happy with. So yeah, it went through all these 12 chapters. Um, and at the end, you would see like, it's sort of cutting off the text. What happened was that it hit the limit of how much output it could do. I just have to ask Claude to like continue from where it was writing. As you can see, like the long chats do use a, use a lot of limits for your Claude account. So I would recommend like maybe if you have something super long, you can just break it down into different chunks so you don't run into any limit issues. Anyway, I was able to get all my content done, which I was super happy with. The next step was to turn this into an email course. For that, I used Beehive. So what I did in Beehive was I created a new publication. I called it AI Prompt Course. And uh, this is where I wanted to like, you know, offer this course as a lead magnet per se and get people on board. So what I did was instead of like creating these initial posts one by one, I just built an automation. So if you go to audience, uh, you build, go to automations. And then, you know, I'm just gonna go through what I have. That's super easy to build. Let me know if you need help. Maybe I can do a video on that. So you can just go through overview of my automation I built. So my trigger was that if somebody signs up to be a subscriber for the newsletter, they will be enrolled into this automation. The reason I did that is because if we go to my my like landing page for my newsletter, the whole USP is basically it's an AI prompting course from zero to an expert for free, 12 chapters in your inbox over 12 weeks. That's my whole angle with the newsletter. I mean, I just wanted to build a mailing list. I can probably use this later on, but I just really wanted to deliver an email course over 12 weeks. So that's why I have this automation in place. So as soon as they sign up, you know, through this form, they're gonna get enrolled in this automation. So the first step is that I'm gonna wait for three minutes so that they can check their emails, they can confirm, and that's when they're receiving their first email, which is gonna be their first lesson about prompting masterclass. Now here under configuration, I can basically like literally just copy paste what my Claude was generating and I can put that into my email. So I just literally took all this and just copied it and then I pasted it here. It preserved all the formatting and honestly, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty readable, at least from my perspective. So I was like, perfect, this is good to go. And for each lesson, I added a poll at the bottom just so I can get some feedback on how people kind of felt about the lesson. So that was it. And like, I just kind of kept doing it for every single step of the way. Then I wait for two days. Then I would send them the second lesson. Then I would wait for seven days. I wouldn't send the third lesson. So like after first couple of lessons, like it was like one week after that, because I don't want to bombard them with like a bunch of emails in like 10 days and be overwhelmed with all the things they have to do. Because if you look at, you know, the content, for example, here's like the one that talks about reasoning pathways, advanced chain of thought techniques. And we go about like, you know, these standard approaches, some advanced chain of thought prompting, some examples and some techniques. So it is like quite heavy material. So I wanted to give people enough time to like absorb the material, practice, it and use it uh, and see how they feel. Anyway, like I'll link this course, like, you know, down below in the description, if you're interested in actually learning about prompting, being at a lead magnet aside, it's actually really informative. Like I said earlier, I could have actually charged for it, but it's free. Anyway, so now when, you know, the course is running, I can look at all my analytics. I have like, you know, 1,744 people in the sequence at the moment. If I look at the stats here, I see like there's 60, almost 60% open rate with 11% click through rate, which is pretty decent. 0% spam rate on the first one. It's a very clear call to action. You're 
you're signing up for email course, that's what you're getting. And then if we go to polls here, if we go to audience here, if we go to polls, look at our poll for less than one rating. 74% uh, says like five star, if we have a few people giving it three stars, and then let's see if we have results for our lesson two. Yeah, we have a few people now to, into our lesson two as well. And we have 90% with five star rating. Again, this course was all created using AI in like five minutes, as you just saw. This is basically like deep research plus like beehive into like an ultimate lead magnet with like endless subscribers you could have. Get people onto the courses or sell courses if that's what you wanna do and like if it aligns with your business goals and your business plan, or just use this as a lead magnet to get a lot of people in your mailing list and add more value and hopefully it works for both parties. But uh, yeah, I hope uh, this was useful. Uh, just to recap, we leveraged OpenAI's deep research tool to research the topic. Then we used Prompt Genie to create a prompt and then use that in Claude to turn that into an email course or whatever course format that you wanted. And then from there on, we used Beehive to turn that into an email course, which will be delivered over like 10 weeks. I took a bit of a break between my previous few videos just because I wanted to spend all this time experimenting. If there's something you're interested in, subscribe to the channel. As always, if this video was useful, you learned something new, give a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments or like if anything you appreciated about the tutorial. I'll see you in the next one.